All right, we look at our basic squared and cubic functions. So let's first begin with the basic squared function. It's also called the a quadratic function. And the reason for that is because um, when the highest power of x is squared, it's quadratic. OK, um, so this this is the most basic quadratic function. There's just x squared. Uh, you don't have any multiplication by numbers like 2x squared. You don't have any adding of numbers like plus 3. You don't have any x to the first terms in addition to your x squared term. So this is the very, very basic quadratic function. And this equation, f of x equals x squared, is the same as the equation y equals x squared. So if you want to graph this equation, and set up a table of ordered pairs, then the y values are the x values squared. So let's let's we'll start our x values with zero, like right in the middle of the graph, and then we'll work to each side of zero. So negative one, negative two, negative three, and then positive one, positive two, positive three. And the y values for this function are the x values squared. So the the y value for negative three is negative three squared, which is positive 9. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. And you see this obvious pattern. You've got this 0, 0 right in the middle. This ordered pair is 0, 0. And then your y values match on each side of 0. What that's going to do is give us some kind of symmetry on our graph. So let's take a look at uh, exactly what the graph will look like. So let's plot 0, 0 first. It's kind of right in the middle here. And then we'll work out away from it. Let's go in the positive direction. If x is 1, y is 1. If x is 2, y is 4, because 2 squared is 4. If x is 3, y is 9, because 3 squared is 9. And I could even keep going. If x was 4, y would be 16, way up here, because 4 squared is 16. So you're seeing that as you move to the right, the y values are spreading out further. And what that ends up giving you is a curved line, not a straight line. A curved line that's increasing faster and faster and faster, getting steeper. OK, let's move to the left now. If x is negative 1, y is positive 1. Because if you square negative 1, you get positive 1. If you square negative 2, you get positive 4. If you square negative 3, you get positive 9. And if you square negative 4, you get positive 16, way up here. So you get an exact mirror image of what we had on the other side. So a quadratic function, a squared function, um, is a U shape. It's called a parabola. OK, so quadratic function gives us this curved U shape, and that, that has a very special name called a parabola. Let's, let's look at the cubic function now and see how it differs from this. So the basic cubic function will be f of x equals x cubed, which is the same, of course, as the equation y equals x cubed. And so when you set up our table of values, we'll start at the middle of the graph at 0, and then we'll work our way out. So 1, 2, and 3, and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. The y values for this function, this equation, are calculated by cubing the x values. So this y will be negative 3 to the third power, which is negative 27. Negative 2 to the third power is negative 8. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. 0 to the third power is 0. 1 to the third power is 1. 2 to the third power is 8. 3 to the third power is 27. And so you see in the middle of our graph, we still get this ordered pair 0, 0. And then on each side, our y values are very similar. But now they're not exactly the same. They're opposites of each other. One is positive and 1 is negative. So instead of having positive 8 and positive 8, I have a negative 8 and a positive 8. Let's see how that affects our graph. Let me grab my grid from the previous example. 
and we'll take a look at how that affects our graph. So let's start at 0, 0, right in the middle. We have 1, 1, so when x is 1, y is 1, because 1 cubed is 1. Go to 2, 2 cubed is 8, and then go to 3, 3 cubed is 27, so it jumps way up to the top of the screen. So this is similar, as you move to the right, your y values are spreading out even faster than they did with the squared function. It's, so it's a curve that's even steeper than the squared function. And you could probably guess, if I did a fourth power, it would be steeper yet. A fifth power would be steeper than that. It would keep getting narrower and narrower. Let's look at the left side now. When x is negative 1, y is negative 1. Because when you cube negative 1, you get negative 1. When you cube negative 2, you get negative 8. When you cube negative 3, you get negative 27 way down here. So you get the same thing as this, just pointing in the negative direction. So uh, this is just a cubic function. It is, it's like the parabola with the left side turned down. Okay, so instead of going up like this, it's flipped over down here, okay? All right, so those are the basic square and cube functions.